Hi there, you're watching Charts and Tops. Today we're gonna look back at the ancient times when our planet was inhabited by horrible and deadly creatures. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. Let's go back to the Carboniferous period, the time when the insects were much larger than they are now. The first species on our list is an ancient relative of the modern dragonfly. This, my friends, is Maganubra, one of the largest flying insects that ever existed on our planet. Maganubra were predatory and mostly fed on other insects. If this baby would fly into your house, you would have to try very hard to get rid of it. A conventional swatter wouldn't be of much use at that point, you'd likely need a paddle. Another extinct genus of the same period was Athrapleura, it lived in the modern Scotland and North America. These guys are known as the largest land invertebrates of all time. The larger species of the genus were of the size of a fully grown human. Now this is what lobsters looked like many millions of years ago. The Eurypterids are actually more like a sea scorpions. Some of them were scavengers, others were genuine predators. Gradually they moved from the bottom of the sea and have adapted to living on land. But Eurypterids weren't exactly the sea kings. They were usually hunted by Camrocerus, a giant arthaconic cephalopod that lived around 450 million years ago. Camrocerus were 11 meters long. It was one of the largest shellfish ever existed. Watching it, you realize that it was an apex predator. 60 million years ago, in the area of modern Colombia, our planet was populated by giant monster snakes called Titanobol. Titanobol were usually about 30 meters in length and weighed a ton. The watershed they lived in was usually full of all kinds of alligators, and as you probably have already guessed, Titanobol was an apex predator and fed on those crocodiles. Although, if Titanobo happened to live in the time of Sarcasicus, it would probably decided to stay away from them. Sarcasicus were of the same size, only they weighed 10 times more. They were the largest crocodile-like reptiles that ever lived. They could even probably chew a rather large dinosaur. Now try imagining a flying beast of the size of a giraffe. That's how big were some of those ancient pterosaurs. These guys were so enormous that it seemed weird that they were able to fly at all. But thanks to their light and adaptive skeletal structure, they were actually very capable of flying. Their wing magnitude was enormous, 13 meters at least. They mostly fed on fish and other sea dwellers. 20 million years ago, our planet was inhabited by the biggest shark in the world history. It was so huge that a newly born child of Megalodon was the same, if not bigger, than a fully grown white shark. It was 60 meters long and weighed 47 ton. They fed on cetaceans and other type of fish, and it seems like nobody could withstand these guys' attacks. There's a popular misconception that Megalodon can still be found somewhere in the depth of the ocean. Do you guys remember Jurassic Park 3? It was that huge dinosaur with an enormous, weird-looking plate at the back. He was chasing those characters and killed that T-Rex in one of the scenes. Well, in actuality, this dinosaur really existed. It's called Spinosaurus, and it's the biggest land predator in the world history. It's even bigger than T-Rex. And unlike T-Rex, it was able to hunt both on land and in water. Okay, let's wrap it up with busting the popular misconception about the dinosaurs called Velociraptor. These little bodies have become very popular after the Jurassic Park series. A little the way they look in film has nothing to do with the way they looked millions of years ago in reality. Well, at least that's what scientists say. If you remember the flick, they were shown as if they were about a human size. Well, in reality, they were about the size of a dog and weighed 20 kilos and probably wouldn't even reach your waist. But the biggest misconception of all is that they actually used to have plumage, which practically made them look like giant chickens, if anything. Scientists realized that in 2007, so by the time of Jurassic World production, filmmakers already knew the truth about their appearance. They didn't seem to mind that too much, since all they care about is entertainment. 
What's even funnier is that every year more and more scientists believe that T. rex also had plumage. And it could easily look like so. Or like so. Not so scary now, huh? Alright, that's all for now. Press the like button, guys. Subscribe, stick around, and we'll see you next time.